the channel, The Model Building Corner. I'm Joe. Um, so, I want to get back on the um, Superbird. Um, got a lot of comments about people talking about the um, Mod Podge and how it doesn't work for them either and that some have never tried it and all of this stuff. But it's sat over there. It's sat overnight. I did not touch it. And I think that the biggest deal with the Mod Podge is once you set it in there, you got to walk away and let it really set up really good. And, um, I mean, it's in there pretty solid now, so uh, it's not going anywhere. You know, that's the point where, when, where I usually get to in a model when I'm putting the glass in. It's like I'm almost done. And so my impatience uh, sets in, and I just want to get it done, so... You just got to be patient with it, wait for it to set up, and uh, I mean, it dries crystal clear. There's no blemishes on the glass at all, except for whatever that is, but that, that'll clean right off. Yeah, that's just a smudge. So, um, so yeah, we'll get you in here and uh, see where uh, what I'm up to and what I got left, because there's not much left, so come on in. Nothing fancy today. I just made myself some deviled eggs. And uh, dinner is going to be stockpile from Hurricane stuff that I don't have to cook. So there you have it. Beans and weenies and some deviled eggs. All right. So like I was saying, that glass, you know, it's in there really, really good. So that shouldn't go anywhere. Uh, I'm going to paint over all of this and try to blend it. I should have, uh, you know, somebody gave me a suggestion and I actually thought about cutting these, these runners off and just mounting the front and rear glass separate. Um, cause yeah, I mean it, this part doesn't even sit flush with the, with the roof. So, um, and then I noticed when I was, um, doing my, um, battery cables that, the holes I drilled came straight through. So I just put a drop of glue right at the very tip and pulled those out so that they set in there. And then uh, once I get the chassis on with the engine and all, I'll run those wires where they need to be. So basically, I'm going to throw the interior together real quick because um, other than... Putting the core support in the front, I'm ready to put the interior in. So it's the interior, the core support, the body goes on, and then the trim pieces go on. And I still got to put the decals on here. So, all right, let's get to it. There's that. Oh, and of course, like I never remember to do, I did not um, paint my uh, shifter. Got the wrong glasses on, as always. Oh, and they're all smudged. I can't see nothing. So, cleaning those off while you guys just stand by. Standing by. Oh, much better. All right, so let's see here. I also forgot to strip my uh, air cleaner. Um... It's too late to do it. What is that? Because that, that's weird. All right. Plus, I don't have the proper Hemi orange paint. And I kind of mixed the paint up for the engine. And I'll never match it. So... This guy wanted a chrome one. So I got to hit this. I got to hit this real quick. With my black. My boot. So hit that with a sharpie. And once this is in the car, I can hit the I can hit the ball. I'm not going to worry about that. Just a little drop. How does this one go? 
I can like that. I never did the detail on the horn on the uh, on the steering wheel. Get that out of the way. Where's my silver sharpie? Come on, jeez, Louise. Everything's falling. There's one. All right. So this little rim. I hate when these door cards are attached because, man, it comes out so sloppy. I would have loved to put those door handles, the uh, window cranks in there too, but there's no way when it's all attached like that. I've seen Justin at, at J Hart, um, uh, J Hart Model Works. I've seen him actually cut these out so he can detail them and then put them back in. That is some creativity. Touch up the black again. All right, we're done there. All right, I did put Dora Clear on my uh, gauges. The kit comes with um, decals, but they're black. So you're never gonna see them. Let's see how this fits. Got a perfect location. Let me clip the top of this off real quick because that's not nice. All right. I will use the toothpick on delicate areas. But on areas like this where you're never going to see it, I don't worry about it. Alright, so that's in. Now I need some seats. Perfect. Okay, we need a passenger seat, perfect, where'd that blue come from, I'm not sure where that blue came from, let's touch it up, okay, blue dot's gone, alright, now, Oh, I've got a rear. What did I do with that? Oh, I already attached it. Ugh. The rear deck thing. I don't know why it was separate from what was already molded in place. Maybe because when this... No, I don't know. I don't know why it's got a separate one. Alright, so they want us to uh, put the interior in but I didn't I say I wanted to touch that up so let's do that all right so I'm gonna let that set for a minute I just wanted to cover up the bare metal foil and and the uh, the runner for the windows so I'll let that set taking a break because it's time to marry some parts together see if I made a see if I did these all right Not bad. Maybe I have one more. Just to make sure I did a good job. Yeah. Came out alright. Alright. It's time.
time to get this marriage underway. This should be pretty much straightforward. It's got nice little locating clips here. Oh, you know what I skipped, though? Not that it probably matters right now, but... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my core support in just in case. Not that one has anything to do with the other. Let's see. Golly, what the heck was that noise? All right. This has got me baffled. There we go. Just give it a little bend and a twist and a... All right, and we're in. Now I gotta get it back out in order to glue it. That is tight. My luck, I'll end up breaking off one of those. Wow, we. All right. Probably gonna make a mess putting this in too. I'm glued to it. All right. Well, it locates perfectly. It's just a little twist and a pull to get it in. That's all. All right. So that's in. All right. Now back to this. Now back to our regularly scheduled step. Right. Let's get that off of there. can't really see nothing hopefully it all goes together well because it looks like I got more room on that side between the floor pan and the rocker panel than I do on that side try it see what happens Definitely sitting up higher than it should be. But the stance looks good. It's on all fours. <laughs> the front's not sitting down all the way. And it's always the same deal. The floor pan, the, the inside tub... Because the floor, the floor pan itself, the bottom of the chassis is touching the uh, interior tub. What do I want to do? Alright, 
So I'm going to lock the interior in. These tabs are kind of Set that one in place. Then this one's got to come over a hair before I lock that one in. I know this probably isn't the right way to do this, but if you leave those tabs where they where they naturally lay, it puts the passenger side, no, I'm sorry, the driver's side of the tub, it puts it cocked just a little bit. So, I'm just going to help it. Okay. But there's really no place to glue the front in place but I think with the rear locked in it'll stay when you put in the chassis in Let's try this again Okay, now the front's sitting. Alright. So I need to run a bead of glue and get that front chassis sitting down. Right here. And a touch right there. And when I set this down like this, it sits perfect. Whoops. All right, I think it just popped into place. On that side. Try not to set this on the uh on the wing. I'm going to let that set up for a minute. It's looking good though. All right, so I'm at a stopping point. I'm going to let the chassis and everything dry completely before I continue handle, handling it. So uh, tomorrow it'll be the final reveal. After this sets up, probably this evening, I'll uh, go ahead and get those last minute touches done. Get the decals on. And uh, yeah, I'll be ready to reveal this thing. So... Appreciate everybody for watching, liking this channel, excuse me, uh, commenting, subscribing. Um, still have plenty of shop cards, so if you want a shop card, the uh, my email is uh, in the um, channel description, not the video description. 
So it's very simple, joe14fan at gmail.com. Um, appreciate everybody for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.